Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today we are going to create this. So let's get started. As usual, first create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, it's called main comp. Then create a new comp. It's called piece. Width around 180, high 200 pixels. Select a rectangle tool, and create a rectangle. Open rectangle layer, and change roundness around 15. Now choose to fill color gradient, and create a gradient like this. And change the gradient location like this. Then convert shape layer into 3D layer and move anchor point top of the center. Now hit R for rotation, go to 5 to 6 frame forward and add a keyframe on X rotation. Then go to first frame and change rotation minus 75 degrees. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Now we add bounce script to X rotation, so copy this script, and hold Alt and click on stopwatch, and paste bounce script. Now duplicate this shape layer, and change the gradient like this. And also change the gradient location like that. Now hit U to show keyframe, then hit Shift T to opacity, and go to last key and add a keyframe on opacity, and change opacity 0%, then go to the first keyframe and change opacity 100%. Now create a new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. And change the Z position little bit, so that our shape layer does not touch with our comp. Perfect. Now create a new full HD composition. It's called first row. Then drag piece comp into timeline. And reduce size 50%. Also turn on this collapse transform icon, and place this piece layer like this. Then duplicate this layer, and move right side. Then again duplicate second layer and move it right side. Do the same with multiple time. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After place all the piece layers it's look like this. Now create a new composition, it's called, All Row. Then drag your first row into All Row composition. Now we need to animation these all piece layers. So open first row comp. Go to first frame, then go to around 3 to 4 frames forward and move your second layer.
Same again go to around 3 to 4 frame forward and move your third layer. Do the same with all layers, again I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After adjust all layers it's look like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to all row composition. Then go to project window and duplicate first row comp. And drag into timeline below the first row layer, and also move the second row layer below the first row like this. Make sure turn on this collapse transform icon, it's help us when we are using light. Again go to project window and duplicate the row comp and drag into timeline, and also move the below the second row. Again do the same multiple time. And I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After place all row layers it's look like this. Now we need to arrange all these layer, so go to around 3 frame forward and move the second layer. Again go to 3 frame forward and move third layer. Again do the same with all layers. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After arrange all the layers it's look like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now create a new composition, it's called scene 1. Then drag all row comp into the scene 1 timeline. Now create again a new composition. It's called placeholder 1. And drag your footage into placeholder 1 comp. Then select your footage, and hit S for scale, add a keyframe on first frame, then go to around 7 second forward, and increase the scale size little bit. Now go to again scene 1 comp and drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline below the raw layer. Then select all row layer and change mode normal to stencil alpha. Now duplicate the all row layer, and change mode, multiply. And also turn on the collapse transform icon of this layer, now search levels effect. and change your histogram like this. Then search radial shadow effect. Change projection distance 5. Then duplicate radial shadow and change projection distance 10. And opacity 70%. Now again duplicate all row layer. And change mode screen. And delete both radial shadow effect. And change the histogram like this. And apply tint effect. Now create a point light. And move point light top of the composition. Then create a new ambient light. And change intensity around 20%. So our first scene has complete.
Now go to the main comp and drag scene 1 comp into timeline. If you want to add your text, so go to placeholder 1 comp. And type your text. Now add second scene comp player, so go to project window and duplicate scene 1 comp. Then drag scene 2 comp into timeline, when your first scene animation has complete. Open scan 2 comp. Now we need to change all these pre comp layers. So go to project window and duplicate all row pre comp. And replace with all row pre comp layers in timeline. Do the same with placeholder 1 comp and replace it. Now open any all row 2 comp player. Now we need to replace all these pre comp layers. So go to project window and duplicate the last number of first row pre comp. And replace with first layer of timeline. Open this pre comp. Now we need to change the animation on all these piece layers. So go to first frame. Select all layer. And hit open bracket button, so our all layer came together. Now go to second last piece layer, and move it around 3 frames forward. Do the same with all layers, move them forward around 3 frame. Again I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After doing all adjustment, you can see our animation started right to left. Now go to all row 2 comp, then go to project window and duplicate the first row 12 comp, and replace with second layer of timeline. Do the same with all layers. Again I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After replace all layers it's look like this. Now go to scene 2 and open placeholder 2 comp, and replace your footage. Resize your footage if required. Then go to main comp. Here you can see the effect. Now create a new black solid layer. And create a mask like this. Open mask property. And change mask 1 add to subtract. And increase the mask feather. Then hit T for layer opacity and change opacity around 30%. It's give our footage a vintage look, then create a adjustment layer. And search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Then apply sharpen effect. And change sharpen amount around 25. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.